Good morning to all my friends and family, and welcome to this episode of Jim's 5am Club. Today, I'm going to go through an interesting and challenging sort of discussion, and the book that we're going to talk about is entitled Irreversible Damage. The transgender craze seducing our daughters. And the author of this book, the brave author of this book, is Abigail Schreier. And the book was published on the 30th of June 2020 in the depths of the um, um, COVID crisis. And this book is a provocative examination of the rapid rise in adolescent girls identifying as transgender and the societal, medical and psychological implications of this trend. Schreier is a journalist and an author and combines research, interviews and personal accounts to explore the factors influencing this phenomenon and to raise concerns about the long-term consequences, the first, second and third level consequences of transitioning. The first key point to come from this book and this author is to talk about the surge in transgender identification. Schreier highlights the dynamic increase in the number of girls identifying as transgender, particularly in recent years. She notes that this phenomenon is particularly observed among adolescent girls and raises the question, the important question, about what are the underlying causes in this trend. We talk about societal and peer influences and Schreier emphasizes the role of social media and peer dynamics in shaping young girls' perceptions of gender identity. Schreier argues that the online environment can create echo chambers where feelings of gender dysphoria are amplified and normalised, leading to increased pressure to transition. We also look at the role of medical professionals. Schreier critiques the medical community's response to the transgender movement, particularly the rush to affirm and medically transition young people without sufficient psychological uh, evaluation. She raises concerns about the lack of rigorous standards in prescribing puberty blockers and hormones. We then go on to look at the consequences of medical transition the book discusses the potential long-term consequences of medical transitioning, including infertility, sexual dysfunction, and other irreversible effects. Schreier highlights the need for informed consent and thorough discussions about the risks involved in transitioning, especially in younger people. The impact of gender ideology is the next thing that we look at. And the author of this book, Schreier, explores how contemporary gender ideology has influenced cultural narratives around gender and identity. She critiques the idea that gender is purely a social construct and argues that this perspective 
can lead to harmful consequences for young women. The other thing that is of great concern is the dismissing of parental concerns. The author addresses the phenomenon of parents sadly being sidelined and dismissed in discussions about their own children's gender identity. Schreier advocates for parental involvement and emphasises the importance of family support in navigating and dealing with these complex issues. Because at the end of the day, if the parents don't have a say, then what the hell is going on? The author then goes on to talk about the importance of mental health and she underscores the mental health challenges faced by many adolescents, including anxiety, depression and social pressures. She rightfully argues that addressing these underlying issues should take precedence over affirming a transgender identity without exploration of other potential solutions. The need for critical examination is called for and the book calls for a more critical examination of the transgender phenomenon, urging society to question the rapid acceptance of transitioning as the sole solution for gender dysphoria. Schreier advocates for a more nuanced and balanced understanding of gender identity issues. We then go on to look at the role of feminism and the author discusses how the rise of transgender identification among girls intersects with feminist concerns about the erosion of female spaces and the implications of women's rights. She examines how some feminist voices are being marginalised in discussions about gender identity. And the last key point to come from this book is the advocating for caution and dialogue. In, and dialogue. So in conclusion, Schreier urges caution and open dialogue regarding the treatment of gender dysphoria, especially in young people. She calls for a more thoughtful approach that prioritises mental health and well-being over immediate affirmation of transgender identities. At the end of the day, as we say, these are children, they are people, and our role as adults is to show leadership and to help them rather than to lead them down the garden path and help them ruin their lives. The book Irreversible Damage by Abigail Schreier presents a critical perspective on the rising trend of adolescent girls identifying as transgender through insights on social influences and, and medical practices and the implications for medical health and feminism. Schreier raises important questions about the long-term consequences of transitioning and advocates for a more cautious and informed approach to gender identity issues. Her work seeks to encourage dialogue and reflection on the complexities of gender and the best ways to support young people navigating these challenges. Nav navigating these challenges. Take care everybody. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Jim's 5am Club and I look forward to chatting to you again. Take care. Bye for now.